What's going on, Truth and Love Nation? Hey, listen, we need your help. I'm calling for anyone and everyone that is willing and able to serve in our First Touch Parking ministry. First Touch Parking, just as advertised, whenever someone drives up on our beautiful campus, the first touch that they receive is from individuals that are serving in the parking lot. And they're out there serving, not just assisting individuals to be able to park in a safe and a secure way, but also offering security for our worship gathering so i'm calling for everybody to just give me one sunday a month just one sunday a month to help us do what god has called us to do and that's to connect people to god connect people to their god-given purpose and to connect our church to the community we need your help sign up at the ask me anything table for first church parking god bless you i love you here come to church Part 14 of the Gospel according to John teaches us about the incredible gift. Incredible means too extraordinary or improbable to admit of belief. Synonyms of incredible are inconceivable, unbelievable, unimaginable, unthinkable. The incredible gift was not sent to pronounce guilt. The incredible gift was sent to provide salvation. Salvation is an event and a process in which people are brought into a right relationship with God. The incredible gift was sent to rescue us from sin and death. The incredible gift was sent to restore our relationship with him. The incredible gift is our only means for salvation. The incredible gift must be believed in, meaning his person, who he is, and work what he has done, and his message, what he has said. The incredible gift was sent to enable us. The incredible gift exposes our ingratitude. Ingratitude is the absence of due thankfulness. Ingratitude is seen in our unwillingness to let go of sin. Ingratitude is seen in our pride. Ingratitude is seen in our unwillingness to be free and ingratitude is seen in our unwillingness to give him our shame. Let's take a look at this clip from Thursday through the Word. And I always want to remind you that God is not angry with you. God is not unloving. God is not unforgiving. Sometimes we could be going through so many things in our life and we be trying to say, am I, am I, am I on the curse? Is there a curse on my life? Maybe God is angry with me. He let this person pass away or that person pass away or this happened or that happened. And we'll think that God is upset with us because of what's going on in our life. If God was angry with us, if God was upset with us, if God was trying to settle or score with us, come on, if I will already be in hell. It wouldn't be no question. If God, God, lo- let me say this to you. God loves you. Yes, sir. God, lo- in fact, it is an incredible love. It's so incredible that he's sent an incredible gift. God loves us. So God is not upset with you. God does not hate man. God does not have to be persu- persuaded to love me. God don't have to be convinced to love me. God don't have to be coerced to love me. But no, God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. Don't you ever look at your problems and think God is, in, is angry with you. Don't you ever look at what's happening to the people that you love and think God is upset with you. No, the mere fact, if you want proof that God loves you, look no further than John 3, 16. For God so loved the world. This week, join us on Wednesday at 6 a.m. for morning prayer. The number is 904-512-0115. Access code 140423. We are praying that the vision and purposes of Truth and Love Ministries will continue to come to pass. Habakkuk chapter 2 verse 2 and Isaiah chapter 54 verse 17. As you participate in our virtual worship experiences, we want you to check in to let our pastors know that all is well. Please tag a friend, tell everybody that you know, and don't forget to share this experience to your timeline. Write a review, follow, and subscribe to all of our social media sites. 
Join us next Sunday at 10 a.m. for our New Year's Day worship experience. We're looking forward to a mighty move of God in the new year. Grief Recovery class will be this Tuesday, December 27th at 7 p.m. All classes will be in-house. Sign up at the Ask Me Anything table and contact Brother RJ for more details. Our shareholders meeting will be Friday, December 30th at 7 p.m. via Zoom. Look for your personal invitation via text or email. Our 21-day corporate fast and consecration will start on Monday, January 2nd at 6 a.m. and end on Sunday, January 22nd at 6 p.m. The corporate prayer call will be Monday through Friday at 6 a.m. Evening corporate prayer will be held in person at the church from 6 p.m. to 7 p.m. and virtually via our social media sites. You may pick up a fasting guide on next Sunday. You can also receive it via email. Just contact Karina or Tanetta for your guide. If you are interested in learning how to study the Bible or what it takes to be a minister of the gospel, School of Ministry is for you. Sign up at the Ask Me Anything table for our 2023 classes. You can also contact Sister Last for more details. Outreach is having a children's clothing drive for infant to teen size clothing. All donations can be dropped off at the dome intake table. Session one of our new member connection class will be next Sunday. The class is open to anyone who has not previously completed the class. We are grateful to all who are committed to being a systematic giver of your tithe and offering. You can give via push pay by texting TILJAX to 77977 via the Truth and Love app and or our website at truthandlove.tv. You may also drop off your giving envelopes Tuesday through Friday between 9 a.m. and 3 p.m. and on Sundays between 9 and 12.30 a.m. Please use the blue envelopes for the expansion project. And if you're giving electronically, don't forget to select expansion project as your giving type. Pastor's Perspective Podcast is now streaming on all major podcast platforms. You can listen via Apple, Google, and Spotify. Guess what? Her Story Unplugged podcast with Lady C is now streaming on all major podcast platforms, which is Apple, Google, and Spotify. You can also follow us on Facebook and YouTube using the handle Her Story Continues and on Instagram using the handle HerStory.til. Visit our website at www. Dot her story is dot org. Here, Here comes, comes the, the church. church.